So here we are, it is September 21st, a uh, rainy day in the little island of Bermuda, and we're about to do an unboxing on the 2016 Everlast 210 EXT, uh, with the assistance of my father here, and the Great Things Workshop. Reluctant. Yes, reluctantly, he says. He's never done an unboxing before. I think it's a waste of money. So if you're watching this video, you probably know that uh, this is a 210 amp uh, TIG and stick welding machine. Yep, there she is. IGP, IGBT inverter technology. And being that this is the uh, EXT, it's uh, digitally controlled. And one of the reasons I particularly wanted to do this unboxing video is I've upgraded to the Everlast brand uh, upgraded torches, the flex torches. We've got the ground clamp, decent quality bronze ground clamp. We like this. Stick welder. Not everybody would be excited about that, but I will be. And as many people have said, it's got excellent spring tension. Got about a metal there. Looks like a decent ground clamp. This is going to be our line for our argon tank. As you see, it's already clamped. Decent clamps on it. Brass fittings. Very nice. Let's see, so I've upgraded to the flex head torches. Hey, uh, slow down over there, Mr. Ralph. Uh, the Everlast branded ones. So I figured I'd try these before upgrading to a CK. This is gonna be the bigger torch here. That should be, yep, this is the 26 air cool with removable uh, 2T switch, I believe it's called there. And you can see it has their upgraded flex lines. I guess they're taking a cue from CK there. This all looks decent. Clamp on the quick disconnect gas line. Ralph here's found the foot pedal. This is definitely a step in the right direction from their older version of the torches with the less flexible line. There we have the uh, that's the power adapter if you're going to run it on 120 volts. That might be handy for some things and some people. Uh, the default consumables kit they send with it, I might practice with a few of these pieces, but I've already ordered some CK stuff. Yep, the Argon flow meter. Enough people have reviewed that. No comment necessary. Is the other piece of our foot pedal. Some assembly required. Hopefully everything is okay there. And I have another ground clamp there. I think that was a little bonus they threw in for me. No charge. I uh, ordered directly from Everlast in this particular case. If I wanted the option. So I this time ordering from Amazon of upgrading the TIG torches, which was, it was a nominal extra cost, $20, $30 extra. This is a 17, rather than the nine it normally comes with. As you can see, it's a 17F for flex head. It's pretty reasonable. And what I really love here is the cable. This is a huge, I mean, look at the flex in this. This is a huge upgrade from their previous versions of the torch leads. I'm really glad I paid the few dollars extra to get this version. Uh, from memory, I believe I ordered it with a 15-foot lead on this one. And the 26 is I'm planning on doing some marine aluminum with it. Wanted a long reach. That should be a 25-foot lead. And the switch will be handy for the bump technique on marine anodized aluminum. So yeah, I wanted to do this video because I've never seen these version of the torches. And there's no photographs on Everlast website of the new version. So this is quite impressive to see. Uh, I've never held a CK version myself, so I can't compare it directly, but um, there's a good bit of flexibility in that torch lead. I'm pretty happy with that. And of course the flex, which feels pretty decent. So we'll see how that holds up. Okay, now I'm moving along to the machine itself. This has come all the way from China, on to California, across the country by UPS. And uh, 
then across by ocean container to Bermuda. And the packaging looks to be in pretty reasonable shape. That was well packaged. The unit was well packaged. Pre-wired standard uh, lead here. That's perfect for my usage. Glad to see it's already wired. That's a nice looking plug. Happy with that. Very excited. This is my first TIG, TIG machine. I've done a lot of research, a lot of homework. I was uh, quite honestly a little reluctant of buying a, a Chinese brand, but then again, you know, even my Lincoln that I have for stick and MIG welding, so many of those components are made elsewhere in the world. And um, Everlast does boast uh, an impressive five year warranty. So here we are, rather excited. She's about 40 pounds, if memory serves. That's one rather impressive looking digital set of controls. You know, I had mixed thoughts about not having the individual dials to be able to see exactly what's where and where it's set. But um, there's a lot of advantages that this digital has. Uh, for instance, being able to change the various waveforms, that could be handy for doing um, some, uh, uh, some of the marine aluminum work that I want to play, play with. Uh, the memories for saving various programs. And then uh, what really sold me in spending the extra uh, two, three hundred dollars, about three hundred dollars uh, on the 210 EXT versus the 200, uh, which is an analog controlled machine, uh, was the fact that um, uh, this has a built in uh, diagnostic mode. And myself being so far from the United States and certainly from California, uh, for me it would be a big plus if something went wrong that I could call Everlast with the diagnostic code and hopefully it would be a little better from a support standpoint. Hope this helps everybody out there in the interwebs. Signing out.